Praise the Lord. What's up, wonderful people? Man, I got a word for you today. I got something to release over you today. I'm telling you, friends, God's going to do something so supernatural today. I woke up with so much expectation, with such a high level of faith and expectation of the glory of God. Remember, the Bible says, as the waters cover the sea, the ocean, so will the knowledge. So I woke up this morning with the knowledge, the faith, the expectation of mega glory. My friends, this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, one of your favorite prophetic voices. I got a word to share over you. This is going to bless your life. I'm telling you, I feel like this may be an end of the year word, a crossover word for you as we are about to cross over to the new Hebrew or to the new year 2023. So I'm very excited because this morning I had a glimpse, a vision really from God. And then the Lord just downloaded this whole word. Amen. Who knows that God loves to show up in dreams and visions, in night visions, in day visions. He loves to speak to his children. Amen. So I want to declare over you, you are coming out of hiding. You are coming out from hiding. Come out, come out wherever you want. You are coming out from hiding. Shakaraba. And this word that I'm going to release over you today and this vision that the Lord showed me this morning, it is a crossover word for you. It is a New Year's word for you. This word that's broadcast today is going to help you launch and leap into the new year. For I declare you are coming out from hiding. Someone say amen. So I want you to tag some friends. Share this on your wall. Give this Facebook Live broadcast some hearts and likes. Because I already feel the power of God on this. Amen. I feel the glory of God on this. And I'm very happy, honestly. Because yesterday I did a Facebook Live. Today, now, today, right now. And then even tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, we have a prophetic word of the month for January. So it's literally three days in a row, a prophetic bonanza, extravaganza. Three days in a row, broadcasting the prophetic, the power, and the glory of God. Abash Kerebra. So I'm very excited because who here knows what every day there is an increase. So today is literally like level two from yesterday. Amen. It's a second day of glory today from yesterday's Facebook Live broadcast. Hallelujah. But let me tell you, I have a word to release over your life today. It is going to bless you, my friends, because you are coming out from hiding. If you're excited to receive the word of the Lord, if you are excited to receive from the man of God, God's servant, God's son, his mouthpiece, I want you to say amen. So praise God. Comment below where you are watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Jesus, help us to break some numbers today. Amen. God is so good. Michelle says, I feel the increase. Arabata. <clears throat> Glory. Pittsburgh, Michigan. God bless you. Vermont State. Alberta, Canada. Dallas, Texas, South Africa, South Africa, Italy, New Mexico. Oh, Hawaii in the house. Come on, I want you to tag somebody. I want you to tag somebody who's like a hidden prophet. Somebody who's powerful and mighty, yet they're not well known in the eyes of man. They may be a hidden voice, a hidden prophet. They may be an emerging prophet, an emerging prophetic voice. They may not have a big platform 
yet on earth. However, God recognizes their mantle and their name in heaven. Hello there, Melissa. Maryland, choo. Hello there, Miriam O.C. Thank you for sharing, D.C. Please do share this on your wall. Because this is going to be a very important broadcast. And I do not say that lightly. Bridgeport, Connecticut, God bless you. Hallelujah. Comment below where you are watching from, friends, and thanks for all the tags. But I want to declare over you are coming out from hiding. The hidden things are being revealed. What is hidden will be exposed. And I believe as we're about to cross over, as we are literally three days away, this is the third day. We are three days away from the new year, 2023. There is a revealing. The spirit of revelation is hovering over the earth. And God is about to reveal you. He's about to apocalyptos you. Some say preach Dr. Ben. My goodness. San Diego, hello there. Chicago, Illinois. Hollywood, God bless you. Mary from the San Fernando Valley, 818. Pretoria, South Africa, Nigeria. Port Elizabeth, Corabaoka, Tarabrata, Texas, Australia, God bless you. Shanda Lalalabata, Tustin, California, South Africa, Arizona, God bless you. Missouri, God bless you. I feel the Holy Ghost. Ho! Rabba Karabra, TJ, California, God bless you. Dios te bendiga. Michigan, South Africa, Krugersdorp. Thank you, Obadiah. Rakata, UK, Springfield, Missouri. Glory be to God. Help us to break the 200 to the 300, my friends. Cape Town. Cape Town. Fiji, God bless you. Jeffrey's Bay, South Africa. Huntington Park, California. The oil is very hot. I'm watching from Pakistan, Zindabad. Help us to break the numbers a little bit more, my friends. Right when we get to the 200 mark or so, I'll begin to share this word. My goodness. Jesus, from France, Colorado, God bless you both. Navajo Nation, God bless you. Yes, Evangelist Jerry, love you and miss you guys. From India, God bless you. Philippines, God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Sharabata from Canada, Kenya, Riverside, California. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. New York, India, Botswana. Continue to share, my friends. From Georgia, God bless you. Belgium, God bless you. Listen, friends, in a minute, I'm going to share this word that the Lord has put on my heart. And I had a very clear vision this morning. Now, this word is going to encourage you. I guarantee it. This word is straight, hot, fresh from the press of heaven. Oklahoma. Glory be to God. South Africa, God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Virginia. Modesto. All right. California. Thank you for sharing, everybody. Please give us some hearts and likes to share this on your wall. 
is a man of God, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim is in the house. And I'm gonna release some today that's gonna be very powerful. Very, very important and powerful. Coracao. Glory, Cape Town. Thank you, Lord. Now, I want you to lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you for the grace that is here, that is on this broadcast. I pray today that there will be such a release and such a pour that you will encounter your people from the top of their head to the soles of their feet like never before. I declare breakthrough is here. I declare breakthrough is here. The shift is here. The change is here. So get ready for the release. Get ready for the upgrade because this is a three-day window until we transition and cross over into 2023. This is a three-day window. Three, two, one. This is a countdown window where God is about to blow your mind and explode the lid and break every limit and chain. This season, God is about to expose the hidden things and you are coming out from hiding. If you believe that, say amen. I said, you are coming out from hiding. Somebody shout hallelujah. Glory be to God. Good to see you, Billy. In fact, I think I was praying for you just this morning, Billy. <clears throat> Nagaland, India, Banning, California. Continue to share this on your wall. Help me to break the algorithms. Amen. My goodness. Glory be to God. Wow, the glory is so strong. Let the souls come in. May you tap into the grace. May you come into agreement right now. Some of you on the West Coast are waking up to this. Amen. Wake up. Wake up, oh sleeper. Chicago, God bless you. There's the fire of God. There's the glory of God. From Nigeria, God bless you. Virginia, God bless you. Well, praise God, friends. My goodness. Do you feel the glory of God? Do you feel the glory of God? Friends, I'm going to share about this vision I had this morning. And this word is going to super encourage you. It's going to encourage you. Just a revelation, the download, and the personal encouragement God brought me and gave me was very encouraging. And the Lord said, tell my people that they are coming out from hiding. You are coming out from hiddenness. Whatever tried to hide you, whatever tried to cover you, whatever bushel tried to cover your light, you are coming out of hiddenness. I said, you are coming out from being under a false covering, a false motive. You are coming out from being under that spirit of oppression, witchcraft, manipulation, rejection. There's freedom. There's deliverance. You will no longer become a subject to every opposing enemy spirit, but you're coming out and you are going up. And in this day, says God, you are about to come out from hiding because many of you have been hidden. You've been hidden. You've been playing it safe. You've been playing it small. You're trying to be falsely humble. It's called false humility. I break it off of you in Jesus' name. I break it off of your life. There's been different word curses, lies, gossip, slander made up about you. But today, the Spirit of God is saying, I'm delivering you and I'm raising you. It's time for you to come out of hiding. Your true you is about to manifest. Your true you is about to come out of the cave. Your true you is about to come forth. The Lord says in this season, get ready for you to come out of hiding. 
Joseph cannot stay in the pit any longer. Joseph cannot stay at Potiphar's house any longer. He outgrew that location. He outgrew that realm. He outgrew. Someone say, I have outgrown the last season. He outgrew that last season. He outgrew those people. You see, Joseph, he outgrew Potiphar's house. He outgrew the prison place. Someone say, amen. And some of you have outgrown your old friends. Some of you have outgrown those old circles. What was permissible in the last season is not permissible any longer in this season. I feel the Holy Ghost. You have outgrown the last financial amount, your income status from last year. Things have shifted. You have outgrown the prison place. It's not because you've grown in physical stature, but it's because you have grown in the spirit. It's because your spirit man has matured and you have grown in the name of Jesus. You can be a little teenage boy like David, the shepherd boy. However, he was a Goliath and a giant in the spirit. Joseph, you must come out of hiding. Whew. Joseph, you must come out of hiding. And the Bible says that Joseph had his sh uh, beard shaved. He took a shower and he put on old, they put on new clothes. Are you ready for your beard to be shaved? Are you ready for the sh beard of shame to be shaved? your clothes of the old identity to be torn off, ripped off. You must come out of hiding. Joseph cannot stay in hiding anymore. Some of you feel ashamed. Some of you feel shy. Some of you feel embarrassed. Some of you keep making excuses. Oh, I'm not ready yet. Oh, God hasn't called me yet. I'm not qualified yet. I break that off. God is saying this season, the hidden things are about to be revealed. This season, you are about to come out of hiding. If you're with me today, I want you to give me some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Good to see Apostle Danny G. Mama Brenda, love you. Glory be to God. In this season, says God, you are coming out of hiding. The Lord says, David, you cannot be a shepherd boy any longer. David, you must come out from hiding. Stop playing it small. Oh, I got a word for you. Some of you are playing it small because you don't want to step on anyone's toes. You know why? Because once you increase, the people who once helped you and loved you will crucify you. <laughs> I'm going to share that again. Once you outgrow your elders or certain people, they become jealous. And they try to hold you back with manipulation of witchcraft. And they try to take credit on what's your life. That's why God had to separate you from those false spiritual fathers and mothers. That's why God had to separate you from those false coverings. It's because they wanted to hold you back. They wanted the credit. They wanted to take credit for what God was doing in your life. But God said, I shall share my glory with no other. He shall share his glory with no other. The glory of what's happening in your life belongs to him and him alone. If you're with me today, say amen. Give me some hearts and likes. Rukatara, I believe in this season, God is in David. You are coming out of hiding. Stop playing it small. Don't be afraid to step on people's toes. Don't be afraid to cause their devils to manifest. Your presence causes their insecurities to manifest. Do you know how many times me as a young minister, as a young man of God, I've been a full-time ministry 14 years. Do you know how many times whenever I step in a room, <laughs> different people begin to get agitated. They begin to get nervous. They begin to manifest demons. Do you know why? Because they've probably been talking smack about me. They probably have ill malice towards me in Jesus' name. But when a true lion steps on the scene, when a true king, queen, man, woman, a God, prophet steps on the scene, it silences, say silence, it silences every false prophet, every Jezebel spirit, it silences all the kitty cats, it silences all the little kitties in the pool. Somebody say amen. You are coming out of hiding. Don't be afraid to offend some people. Come on, Jesus was offensive. Not because he likes to be intrusive. No, not at all. Jesus in himself, the gospel is offensive. It is an offense, my friends. And your increase, your promotion, 
Your next level. Say next level. Your next level. I need you to clap your hands. My next level. Your next level is going to offend some people. Because you have outgrown the last season. Because you can no longer stand hiding. I'm trying to prophesy to you right now. I'm not trying. I am prophesying. But you better catch this. You have outgrown your last season. And you need to come out of hiding. You need to come out of being small. Hear me now. You need to come out from being cheap. Being cheaply minded. Always trying to cut corners. You need to come out from hiding. Somebody say amen. Friends, help me to break the 300 mark today. Amen. Help me to break the 300 mark today because this is just the introduction of what the Lord has shown me to release today. But you are coming out of hiding. The hidden things are about to be revealed. The hidden things are about to be exposed. And I believe as we cross over into 2023, the Lord is saying, get ready to come out of hiding. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ready or not, here I come. You can run, you can hide. Get ready, my friends. The hidden things are about to be revealed. Someone say amen. So earlier this morning, the Lord showed me a vision. The Lord showed me a vision. And do share this on your wall, friends. Help us to break the 300 mark today. The Lord showed me a vision. <laughs> the Lord showed me a very simple vision. And then the Lord gave me insight and revelation on it. Isn't that incredible? Simplicity is filled with loads of glory. I mean, he showed me a simple vision and then he downloaded such great wisdom revelation which i'm going to share with you today if you're ready to receive say amen the lord showed me a vision this morning and the lord showed me his hands his hands were lifted up like this and he was holding something in his hands like this and the lord showed me a vision of his hands in the spirit and his hands were holding something and that was it. And I began to ask the Lord. I began to inquire of God. I said, God, what does this vision mean? Give me the revelation. Give me the rhema. What does this vision mean? And the Lord said, I am holding many things for you. I'm not holding them from you. I am holding many things for you. Someone say, preach, Dr. Ben. The Lord said, I'm holding many things for you. And in this season... Get ready for me to give them to you. So God, the Lord showed me a vision of his hands and he's holding many things, treasures, gifts, blessings, mantles, anointings, revelation, realms, keys, mantles. And he's holding these treasures in hidden places, these riches in secret dark places. And he's holding these gifts. And the Lord said, I am holding these things for you. Not from you, but for you. Now, I want you to catch this. Now, as the Lord showed me this vision, boom. The Lord downloaded the verse into my spirit. Hallelujah. Who's ready for this? The Lord downloaded this verse into my spirit. Right here, Proverbs 13, 22. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. <laughs> and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the righteous. The wealth of the sinner is stored up, held up for the righteous. Someone say amen. Proverbs 13, 22, 20, Proverbs 13, 22. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, but the wealth of the wicked, I want you to catch this, the wealth of the sinner, the wealth of the wicked is stored up. Literally, it's caught up in the glory. It's caught up in the heavenly places. It's caught up. And the Lord began to speak to me about Daniel. As the Lord showed Daniel end times prophecy revelation, he said, write it down and conceal it for a times and a time and a half. It's not yet time. Someone say it's not yet time. He said it's not yet time. 
So I've given you to download the vision, the word, but it's not yet time. For a times and a times and a half. If you follow me, say amen. So the Lord showed me many things that have been stored up in the heavenly places in the realm of God. Many things that have been stored up, caught up, held up in the hands of God. And it may not be in your hands, but it's held up. It's right above you. Now, Proverbs 13, 22. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. And the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. That word stored up, laid up. Amen. That word stored up, laid up in the Hebrew, it is, uh, it is safan. I want you to say safan. That word Hebrew is safan. And the word Hebrew, safan, it means to hide or treasure up. I'm about to preach your friends. Follow me. I'm, I'm giving you word right now. I'm teaching you. That word safan that means to hide or to treasure up. Another definition of it means to ambush. Isn't that interesting? Ambush. I want to say ambush. Another definition means to conceal, to keep them secretly, to restrain like a restraining order or to treasure and store like something is valuable. Someone say amen. So the Lord is saying there's wealth, miracles, mantles, I feel the Lord. There's glory, there's hidden gems and treasures in God. <clears throat> that is safan, held up stored up secretly it is concealed it is hidden for you now the lord showed me this vision and the lord gave me this verse now catch this safan i want to say safan this word safan stored up laid up concealed hide this word safan is also used here in exodus chapter 2 verse 2 to 3 my goodness are y'all ready for this? Exodus 2, 2 to 3. And the Bible says the woman conceived and bore a son, which is Moses. And when she saw that he was a fine child, amen, she hid him for three months. Someone say hid. That word hid is safan. Stored up, laid up, hid. She hid the baby for three months. Hold up, hold up. It gets better. When she could no longer hide him, she took him in a basket made of bulrushes and dubbed it with, with butmen and, pit, and pitch. She put the child in it and placed it among the reeds by the river bank. When she could no longer hide him, when she could no longer safan him, I'm trying to talk to you. You can no longer hide your baby bump. You can no longer hide your pregnancy. You can, it's obvious. It's showing. Your baby's showing. You're glowing. You can no longer hide your baby bump. It's showing. It's glowing. Oh, ra -ba -ba -ba. She can no longer safan her baby. And the, and the Bible here says she conceived, bore a son, and saw that he was a child. My goodness. But she could only hide him for three months. I'm preaching to you. You've been hidden. But now, God can no longer hide you. You are God's best kept secret. You are God's best kept secret. You are God's secret weapon. You are God's secret weapon. He has kept you hidden. He has kept you reserved. He has kept you preserved. He, have, he has kept you. Some of you, you thought it was rejection, but it was protection. God did not reveal you yet because he saved you for this generation, for this season. Come on, some of you, you may be crying. You may be sad. You're saying, Dr. Ben, uh, Pastor Ben, you're saying, Jesus, I feel like I missed my time. I missed my season. But God says, I have kept you for a reason and for a season. And I've kept you and I stored you up and I hid you for this season because this is the time where you will be most effective. This is the time where you will be revealed and you will have maximum ROI, maximum effect and fruit in the name of Jesus. She can no longer hide the child. She can no longer hide the baby. She can no longer hide you when God is saying, 
I hid you for three months for a reason, for a season, for your protection. But now I can no longer hide you. Someone say amen. I can no longer hide you. God is saying you're coming out of hiding. God is saying you're about to be revealed. You're about to manifest. You're about to rise up. The baby bump is showing. It's glowing. It's obvious. You're pregnant. You are impregnated with the Holy Ghost. Just like when a woman is pregnant. I've heard many stories. And you know what? There's times I know when my friends are pregnant. They start acting a little shy. Start, you know, they start acting a little you know, funny, and they start giggling, and I'm like, oh, you guys are pregnant. <laughs> Many times, mothers will know when their daughters are pregnant. It's a thing. It's a thing. Sometimes there's a smell. Sometimes there's a taste. There's there's some. I'm telling you, you're pregnant, and it you can no longer hide it. The hidden things are about to be revealed. And you are coming out of hiding if you believe it and receive it today. Say amen. Help me to break the 300 mark today, my friends. So the Lord showed me a vision of God's hands holding up blessings. And the Lord spoke Proverbs 13, 22. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. But the wealth of the sinners laid up, stored up, held up for the just. And that word laid up, held up, stored up, it is safan, which means to treasure up which means to hide, conceal, to store like it's something valuable and precious. And it's the same word we saw here in Exodus chapter 2, verse 2 to 3. She can no longer hide the child after three months. Now that same word, hear me now. Someone say, preach, talk about that same word is used in Joshua chapter 2, verse 4. Joshua 2, verse 4. Come on. Come on, mate. I'm enjoying this. Joshua chapter 2, verse 4. And the Bible says, The woman had taken the two men, the two spies. Rahab took the two spies and hid them. And she said, True, the men came to me, but I did not know where they came from. Now, why is this important? Because this talks about ambushing your enemy. This talks about overcoming your enemy. The Bible says, that Rahab, who was a prostitute, come on somebody, an adulteress, an obvious sinner, because she hid God's servants, hear me now, because she helped God's servants, her name was reversed from cursed to blessed. And she became one of the seed offspring, come on somebody, of Jesus Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach. My goodness. She became in, in the generational line and blessing of the Messiah, the Mashiach, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Isn't that incredible? But she, hear me now, she hid the spies. And what happened? She hid the spies in the walls of Jericho and then eventually the spies, they broke down the walls of Jericho. God has hidden you to break some things down. God has stored you up. God has treasured you up to tear down Jericho walls, to suddenly attack and to ambush your enemies. You felt like you were hidden. You felt like you were concealed. You felt like you were held back. But God has hidden you. Come on, somebody. He has protected you. He has kept you for the right timing so that you will suddenly attack your enemies and you will destroy every single Jericho wall in Jesus' name. I want you to say Jericho walls are falling down. So this word, Safan, Stored up for the righteous. Stored up for you. Riches. So God has not only stored up riches for you. He has stored up victory for you. He has laid up. He has treasured up. He has concealed and hidden. Held up victory for you. So some of you are crying out to God. God, why, why am I not being delivered? Why is the situation in my life not changing? 
God, I'm struggling in this sin, in this addiction. What's going on, Lord? And God is saying, I am hell holding you back so that you can have a victory of Jericho walls falling down. If you receive it today, someone say amen. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost, my friends. Pray in the Holy Ghost. We're going to take a prayer break right now. Come on. I want you to prophesy over your life. Jericho walls are falling down. You've been held back. You've been stored up. You can no longer be hidden anymore. You must come out of hiding. You must come out of hiding. Joseph cannot be hidden anymore. John the Baptist cannot be hidden anymore. David cannot be hidden anymore. You must come out of hiding. Stop playing it small. Stop apologizing. Stop being sorry like a Canadian. Stop being sorry. Stop being sorry. It's time for you to come out from hiding. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord showed me that this is a season. My goodness. This is a season where every held up blessing is about to manifest. In this end of the year, New Year season, every held up blessing, every prophetic word that was held, it's going to come to manifest, it's going to come to pass. Now we are in a tipping point, my friends, outpouring, tipping point. Jesus, we are in a tipping point and outpouring. The bowls of heaven are full. Get ready for the flow. Get ready for the overflow. Get ready for the revelation, the culmination. Get ready for the full summation of what the Lord is doing and what God's about to do. The hidden things are being revealed. That word Safan, you can also find in Job chapter 10, verse 13, my goodness. If you're blessed today, say amen. If you're with me today, say hallelujah. Job chapter 10, verse 13. Yet these things you hid in your heart. I know that this was your purpose. So here in this passage, it's the same word, Safan, stored up, laid up. You've hid these things in your heart. So the hidden things in your heart will eventually manifest. And God is saying, I've hidden you for a season and for a reason. You felt ignored. You felt overlooked. You felt like you were small. Look at the story of Gideon. Gideon says, I'm the smallest in all the tribe of Benjamin. And he was hiding in a threshing floor. The Bible says Gideon felt like he was the smallest. He was hiding from his enemies. Some of you, you you've been hiding out. You've been hibernating away. Shama Tarablata. You've been stored up, but I want to declare over you. He has held these things for you, not from you. He is holding it up for you. He is treasuring it up. A righteous man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, but the wealth of the wicked is stored up for you. I want to declare right now that every held up blessing is about to manifest. Every held up word, prophecy, gift, manifestation is about to tip over and overflow. I declare over you right now in Jesus' name. Come on, lift up your hands and pray to the Holy Ghost, my friends. I see a lot of crying face emojis. I declare over you right now that you are coming out of smallness. You are coming out of mediocrity. You are coming out of the warfare, of the whirlwinds, of the tornadoes and cyclones. You are coming out of the storm. You are coming out of the tunnel, out of the valley. You're coming out of oppression. 
He stored up these things for you. He's laid it up. You cannot be hidden anymore. You cannot be under subjection, subjugation anymore. He is raising you up. <clears throat> He's bringing you out. There is a greater glory coming over you. And in this season, everything that the Lord has held up for you in His hands, get ready for outpouring and for a release. This morning I had a vision. And that's the premises and the precipice of this whole word today. But this morning I had a vision. And I saw God's hands holding up things in the spirit. And the Lord said, I'm not holding them from you, but I'm holding them for you for a time and a times and a half. I'm holding them for you. And the Lord said, Proverbs 13, 22, a righteous man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, but the wealth of the wicked is stored up, held up for you for you, for the righteous, Jesus, for you. It's held up, stored up, treasured up for you. It's for you. Someone say, it's for me. It's for you. Billy Dyson, it's for you. VJ, it's for you. Becky Weaver, it's for you. It was concealed for a season. It was held back for a season. It was stored up for a season. Even the spies, they were hidden, concealed in the walls of Jericho for a while. And then that broke through the walls and that caused an ambush and a terrorizing takeover of their enemies. Imagine if they were not hidden in the walls of Jericho, would they have taken over? Imagine if they not find a Rahab. My goodness, I'm about to prophesy. Get ready to encounter your Rahab. <laughs> Hear me now, my friends. Get ready to encounter your Rahab. Who was Rahab? Rahab was a known public adulterous prostitute. Her home was known. Her space was known. It was known by men. It was known by neighbors. It was known by women. It was known by government workers, officials. Her home was a known place. Rahab was an unclean person as a public adulterous prostitute. However, God used Rahab and he used Rahab to bless the two spies. Get ready to encounter your Rahab. Your Rahab is going to look different from what you thought. Your Rahab, your help, come on. Your, your next level, your next blessing, your next opportunity, your next platform is going to look different from what you thought. What you had, the new breed that God's raising up is going to be different from the polished, primed, perfectly dressed, well-dressed, well-versed, well-educated, well-accoladed, well-connected. Well, well Listen, the next generation, the new breed is going to look like a Rahab generation. They went through hell. They went through fire. They went through all sorts of sin. But get ready to encounter your Rahab. And I believe this generation will be like a Rahab generation. Come on, somebody. Do you know why? Oh, someone say preach like the man. Because Rahab, whoa, <laughs> I feel the Holy Ghost. Rahab was in the system of the enemy. Listen, you need to catch this, guys. Oh, Rababa, Lord, help me to release this right now. Rababa, Rahab was in the system of the enemy. And God used somebody in the system to break the system. God used somebody in the system to destroy the system. Come on, somebody. Don't tell me God can't use Kanye West, Elon Musk. Don't tell me God can't use Donald Trump. Don't tell me God cannot use people who are in the system. They're in the world, but not of it. God's going to raise up some Rahabs. 
Oh, and you want to be more offended? Yeah, you want to be more offended? Rahab is in the lineage of the generational blessing of Jesus Christ. Rahab is very, very, very responsible for birthing the Messiah of the world. Someone say amen. Get ready to encounter your Rahab. You are about to encounter somebody, something that is different, obscure, peculiar. They may feel and seem, I'm not, listen, even myself, a lot of people, they look at me with the, the eyes of the flesh. I remember I was in Korea <laughs> and I don't got time to go into this. But I was in Korea and there was this person who wrote letters to the pastors to try to stop me from coming and to try to stop the ministry when I was in Korea. But the devil is a loser and a liar. And this person who wrote letters to these pastors to try to stop me from preaching and ministering in Korea, they came to the meeting Friday night. There were over 50 people Five O people that were standing in line testifying of their healing miracle in their body. And this person felt so convicted. This person was in the meeting. They wrote a letter against me trying to stop me from preaching at the church in Korea. They wrote a letter against me and they came to the meeting in Korea and they were so convicted. Two weeks later, they sent an apology letter they sent an apology letter and said, when I first saw Pastor Ben with his colored hair, with his glasses and his style, I didn't know what to think about him. But as we worshiped God, and as I saw him love the Lord and I saw the miracles, this person said, I felt convicted and I had to repent before God. And this person wrote in the apology letter, I had to write an apology letter and make things right. Someone say amen. Some people look at me and say, you look like a Rahab. Hey, even though I'm a man, you look like a Rahab. <laughs> Come on, somebody. People can't. That's why you cannot judge by the flesh. You cannot judge by man's carnal eyes. Get ready for exposure. Get ready for revelation, my goodness. Get ready for illumination. My friends, my friends, there is such a glory on this broadcast. There is such a glory on this broadcast. Shabbat I need you to lift up your hands and just receive right now. There's such a glory on this broadcast. Ashkamata kalablate tarobroka. Mandala labauka tarabrata. Get ready to encounter your Rahab. Get ready to encounter your Rahab. It is the Rahabs in the system that will let you in and break the system. It is the Rahabs. He uses the foolish things of the earth to confound the wise. Use the foolish things of the earth found the wise hey I want to declare over you you are coming out of hiding Karen Edwards Cece Andrew Claire Brush Michelle Ingram Maria Hope Maria Hope thank you for being a subscriber Nadine Coleman Akila Miller Sonia Bella Promise listen you felt held back you felt hidden but now you are coming out of hiding. You are coming out of hiding. Yes, you. You are coming out of hiding. No more playing small, no more excuses. No more playing patty cake with the devil. One foot in the world, one foot in the church. Compromise, devaluing and humiliating yourself. You are coming out of hiding. We are here for you, God. 
We are here for you, God. We are here for you, God. We are here for you, God. Lift up your hands. Shatalalabatata mata kera brota. Mazama katabo katabaratata. I declare this year, 2023, you are coming out of hiding. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. This year, you will see greater miracles. I'm prophesying to you. You will see greater miracles, greater glory, greater financial surplus harvest provision, supply. This year, you're coming out of hiding. You're coming out of smallness. When she can no longer hide him anymore, she put him in an ark and he went down the river. She can no longer hide him anymore. God can no longer hide, hold up, store up, lay up those blessings anymore. It's time for heavy rain. It's time for outpouring. It is a tipping point in Jesus' name. Someone say amen. My goodness. Now, friends, I want to pray for you. My goodness, I feel in this glory. I have to pray for you. And I have been. Shut up. Give me some hearts and likes, my friends. Um, I'm sad that we couldn't even break the 300 mark today. But it is well. It is well. It is well with my soul. Friends, we're three days away. Today, tomorrow, and it's Saturday. We're about to step into the new year, my friends. And I want you to have faith and expectation in this word today. You have outgrown the pit, Joseph. You have outgrown Potiphar's house, Joseph. Friends, I want you to sow a seed in this atmosphere today. My goodness. I want you to sow a seed in this atmosphere. If you're blessed by the word of the Lord, if you are in agreement, I want you to sow a seed. And I want you to sow with the number 23 for 2023. 23 cents, $2, 30 cents, $23, $230. I want you to sow with the number 23. We have about 250 people live here right now, more than that. But sow a new year seed of 23. According to your faith, let it be. Now we're going to pin the different ways for you to give in the chat group, in the comment section. Many of you, I'm sure, are already familiar because I see many familiar faces. It's like family here. Ron D says, I'm sowing. I believe you, God bless you. Yes, we're about to pin the link in a second. But I want you to sow into this word, my friends. I want to give you the opportunity to bless the Lord, to bless his servant, bless his ministry, to come in agreement. I'm telling you, he is pleased by cheerful givers. He is pleased with cheerful givers. <laughs> My goodness. Thank you, Barbara. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Karen Edwards. And Karen and Sean Fitzgerald. Cassandra Jacoba, I saw you as well. I hope we will see you this weekend for our New Year's Eve revival, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Starts tonight, actually. Starts tonight. 
Thank you, Patty Kay. Come on, I want you to declare I'm coming out of hiding. You're coming out of hiding. The hidden things are being revealed. It's being exposed. Sean, you're coming out of hiding. You're coming out of hiding. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. This year, you're coming out of hiding. You're coming out from the walls. You're coming out. What has been held up and stored up is coming over your life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Shara Baba Brata. Thank you, everybody, for sowing. Really, you should thank me for giving you the opportunity. <laughs> However, even when you share this broadcast, it is also a form of sowing and a form of honoring the Lord. So thank you. Amen. I'm telling you, friends, every held up blessing is being released and revealed. It's coming over you in Jesus' name. Coming over you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Janelle. God bless you. Christine Leonard, God bless you. Did you receive this word today? I'm telling you, I'm believing for some great things the next few days. And even as we transition to the new year, I'm believing for even greater things. Look at that, we have 223 right now. That's right, Billy. Thank you, Lord. Rabba karabrota baska terablata teraboshata. Jarabrata. Now, friends, I do want to talk to you about tonight, this weekend. I know many of you are watching from all around the world. But we are having a New Year's Eve revival tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday into the countdown into the new year. Now, I want you to join us in person or online. In person or online. We have Papa Georgian Banoff, Mama Coco, Winnie Banoff, Keith Duncan, and myself. And we're going to have a Holy Ghost revival party here in Orange County, Southern California. Tonight, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Three days of glory. Now, if you don't uh, have a party or a dinner or something somewhere to go, especially on New Year's Eve, please tune in. You have to register. Register, be there with us, be in the spirit, be one with us. Because these next three days, starting tonight, is going to be powerful. So, Sean, I saw Cassandra. I would love to see you here, definitely, because you're both local. Orange County, yes. Thank you. So friends, I do invite you. If you are in the region, drive in, fly in. I know the fillers, y'all are driving in, so I'm very happy about that. Yes, you have to register to go. You can even register on site at the table. But literally these three days, especially New Year's Eve, is gonna be phenomenal. We have some great fun things for our New Year's Eve countdown and day. Myself, Papa Gio, Georgian Banoff, Winnie Coco Banoff, the Apostles of Joy. It's gonna be such a supercharged, prophetic atmosphere of breakthrough and celebration. 
So go ahead and join us. If you're going to join us online or in person, I want you to comment, I'm coming. If you're joining us online or in person for the next three days, I want you to comment, I'm coming. Is it too late to purchase online? No, it's not. I want you to comment, I'm coming. If you're joining us online or in person, amen. End this year with great miracles, signs, and wonders. Thank you, Lord. Natalie, Andra, Lisa, Marilyn, Angela, Marna, also. End this year with us in a supercharged prophetic atmosphere of miracles. Obadalia, Rihanna, Glory be to God. Tap into the glory. Tap into the anointing. Christine, Cassandra, Melissa Filler, Shada Maria Plant. Glory be to God. Rabba Karabrata Taradadoshata. Deborah Online. Lalele, Ria Kibben, Crystal, Sean, Becky Weaver, Carla Hoop, come on, Yolanda Martinez. Thank you, Lord. End this year with us in a supercharged, Holy Ghost miraculous atmosphere. Sandy, Juan Martinez. Thank you, Lord. Now, friends, thank you so much for jumping on and watching today. I cannot wait to see you tonight, this whole weekend, for this New Year's Eve revival. But even tomorrow, I am doing the prophetic word of the month for January. Look at that. Three days in a row, Facebook Live. What a treat, what a blessing. It's good to be back. Amen. But tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard, I am releasing the prophetic word of the month for January. So much activity going on in the spirit. Catch it, write it, be one with it, go with God. Amen. You are coming out of hiding. Can't wait to see you tomorrow, my friends, or even tonight, if you're coming to the conference. Love you, bless you, and we'll see you soon. God bless. And please do consider becoming a subscriber to this page. Give us a heart, a like, a follow. Give this page a like and a follow. Also, follow me on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. We have different content on all platforms and pages. So thank you, everybody. Love you and bless you. Happy New Year. I'll see you soon, tonight or tomorrow, for the prophetic word of the month. God bless.